To begin with, let's just have a quick overview of the applications and softwares we have been using over the past two to three years to enhance our teaching learning process. We introduced the G Suite for Education, wherein each student and teacher got a unique ID from school, which they could use to log in for their classrooms, for their calendar, for their email, for the Google Meet, where the lessons were taken, and fill in forms, Excel sheets, all of this was done online on the Google Workspace. Then we introduced the Quest ERP, which is the new ERP, which can be used for fee payment, to check your attendance, timetable, worksheets that are uploaded, assignments that would be assigned to students, etc. There are a few modules which have been introduced recently, and I will be taking you through them in detail through my presentation. We then have a Quest app, which is the Quest Plus Learning app. This learning app has helped students enhance their scores and better their learning process. You have video lectures, tests, and worksheets, which are uploaded over here from time to time based on what is done in school. Students can attempt these test worksheets and online tests to better their scores in their exams. Let's begin with the Quest Plus Learning app. We have been using this Quest Plus Learning app effectively for the past two years. So I'll be just taking you through a quick recap on how to install it and use it effectively. Now the steps to install and use, very simple. Download and install the Quest Plus Learning app. Log into the Quest Plus app. View your video lessons. Attempt tests. Download worksheets, which also have an answer key. So you can check for yourself if you have answered correctly or if in any doubt, you can get it clarified. Earn reward points for every attempt and video lesson that you're viewing. Now the reward points is something new we have started this year and I will be talking in detail about it as we go through the presentation. You can track your learning progress based on your chapter, your syllabus and the subtopic. And in case you have any queries or any support requests, you can raise it by emailing to the email ID mentioned at the end of the presentation. One good news about the Quest Plus Learning app this year is we can view it on a desktop PC or laptop by going to any web browser like Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox or Microsoft Edge and keying in this URL that you see on top. Once you have keyed in this URL in your browser, the Quest Plus Learning app page is loaded and students, please click on the Spectrum login because this is a unique feature given to all Singhania students. Now, to download and install it for your Android or your iOS systems, that is your Android phones or your Apple phones, for Android phone users, please go to Play Store and click on Play Store in your phone and search for the Quest Plus Learning app and download it. For iOS users, go to the App Store and search for your Quest Plus Learning app and download it. When you're searching for your Singhania Quest Plus Learning app, please look out for this icon that you see on the screen and download only that app. Now, once you have done this, you will get a login page. Again, students, please remember to click on the Spectrum login. Do not click on mobile number and OTP because all of you already have been given a login ID and password. Now over here, your username is your G Suite email ID or the email ID that school has given you. Your password would have been mailed to you or since you have been using it for the past year, you would already have a password with you. In case you have forgotten your password, 
you can click on the forgot password tab over here and a forgot password link is sent to your email id where you can reset your password now once you get a password which was sent to you by the system please change your password or if you feel you have been using the same password for a long time please change your password you can do so by going to the profile icon over here and click on the change password now once you have changed your password you can now log in by using your new password now if you look at these screens these are screens which give you your different subjects that you have offered in school and which have been assigned for you depending on your grade click on the subject that you would like to view view the videos attempt the tests attempt the activities download the worksheets and each one of the test activity or worksheet that you are downloading each video that you view has some points assigned to it so every time you do an activity on the quest plus learning app you earn certain reward points we have started this reward points because we have seen students over the past years have benefited through the quest learning app and the video lessons which are uploaded on it and they stand to gain or do better in the exams taken after they have gone through these tests and activities on the app so the reward points is just another way to encourage and boost you to do better in your academic performance now when you view your video lessons you can see your chapters listed down select any one of the chapter and click a video that you would like to view go through the video and once you have done so you can select a test you can attempt the test and view the results so you view a score immediately once your test is done now you can have practice worksheets as well these practice worksheets can be downloaded and they also come with a solution so in case you feel there is some place where you might have gone wrong or an answer you do not know you can look at the solution which is uploaded with the worksheet for your reference like i told you this year we have introduced reward points so for every video you view every test you attempt every activity you do you are getting some reward points all these reward points add up and every month we would be announcing a top performer for each grade now how do you access your progress on the app you can click on the progress option that you see on the screen here and you can check the number of activities that you have done track your learning there might be a subject which you have not attempted as much as the others so you can identify that looking at the graph on top now each of this graph also tells you whether you have viewed the videos whether you have attempted the test whether you have done any web activity or you have done an activity in the application itself so if you see this graph over here this particular student has only viewed videos for all the subjects and for a particular activity and game he has attempted multiple activities now to raise a support request that is in case you have any problems with your login id forgot password or there's a video which you are unable to see or a test that is unable to be downloaded you can click on your profile and there is a support email for support that support at questplus.in please shoot a mail to them i would like to quickly take you through the benefits and what students have benefited by using the quest learning app over the past year we have seen 
that 1,34,671 videos were watched, 93,729 tests were attempted by students, and 48,442 activities were attempted by the students. Now, when we look at an average analysis of a student effort, we say on an average, a student has viewed about 510 videos, attempted 609 tests, done 324 activities and 289 worksheets. Now, this is an average that we have taken across the school. There are some students who have done much more than this and they have done this repeatedly again and again because they have come back to us and said that they see the benefits of using the app just before their exams and it shows in their scores. Now, this is an analysis that we have taken just prior to the previous test, the term exams. Now, over here, if you see, the scores of the students have increased considerably depending on the time or the usage of the app. If you look at grade A, mathematics, they have used the app for at, you know, 4,518. It could be 4,518 cumulative videos that they have watched. So the score in math has gone up to 67%. Whereas if you see, there is a better jump in science. The score has gone up to 77%. Whereas the videos that they have watched in comparison with math is also much higher at 5,979. So if you look through this graph, you can see the grades A, B and C. There is a comparative study done and we can see the scores have improved where the usage of the app is higher just before the exams. So if you look at grade C, they have not used the app extensively for mathematics. And you can see their class score average has also come down to 51%. Whereas for science, they've used the app very effectively and the score has shot up to 75%. So this is just a small analysis we did this time before the term exam and after the term exam to determine on whether they have benefited by using the app just before their exams. Now this is what the student of the month would be getting. The student of the month would be getting a certificate from Quest Plus. This is a hard copy certificate, it will not be a soft copy. So you get a physical copy which is presented to you. So we give one student of the month across the grade for every month. For any queries that you would have, you can write to support at questplus.in.